Before I begin to break down the lesson between Oscar and Rafa, I just want to show you what led me to do this video, that it was never about a grip change, but more about a motion change. Right here on the left frame is Rafa at the 2010 US Open Final serving against Novak Djokovic. And you can see right there that when Rafa brings his feet together, he has a new and improved pause or trophy position. And right here in 2009, his arm swung way too far away from his body before he got into trophy position. So to me, this is one and only one of the major things that Oscar changed on Rafa's serve. You can see again in 2000, this is late summer 2009, when Rafa's arm was still too far away from his body when he got into trophy position. And uh, right here, in, uh, this is a close-up of Rafa at the U.S. Open in 2010. And you can noticeably see how when he tosses the ball, that his arm bends and gets into trophy position. The next three photos really illustrate how Rafa has always struggled with an ineffective service motion prior to hitting the ball. And that was the main reason why Oscar Boris reached out to Rafa's camp. So there you have it, Oscar Boras holding the piece of paper, talking to Rafa and Uncle Tony who is sitting on the bench. They're talking about the different service motions that other tennis pros use on the tour. Now the lesson begins. Oscar is going to have Rafa do a simple exercise to demonstrate how Rafa can get his arm to get better acceleration, better speed, just by throwing a tennis ball, because the throwing motion is very similar to a service motion. Now Rafa told him that as he was getting used to this throwing motion, he kept on getting stronger and stronger, that he felt like every ball kept on going further than the previous one. Oscar told him that if he was to choose a simple exercise to throw the ball, he could achieve his goal to set his arm in a better position that would lead to better acceleration, better racket head speed, and eventually a stronger serve. Oscar is now showing both Tony and Rafa videos of Rafa on YouTube so he can really point out the major flaw in Rafa's service motion. Oscar now demonstrates Rafa's biggest flaw, how Rafa holds his racket too far away from his body before getting into the proper trophy position. Also what Oscar is trying to show to him right there is that when Rafa extends his arm out that his wrist is really in a weak position. Now this is what I was talking about in the intro. You can see right here Uncle Tony sort of arguing with Oscar and tell him that that is not the issue of his serve while Oscar is trying to say this is the most important part that, that uh, Rafa is going to have to change. And throughout the lesson, especially at the beginning of the lesson, you're going to see how Oscar is going to really not only have to prove to Rafa what he has to change, but also prove to Uncle Tony what Rafa needs to do to improve his serve. Oscar is now showing Rafa that he really isn't crazy about how Rafa sets his wrist when he eventually gets into uh, the pause or trophy position. And um, Rafa shows him that he likes to keep his hand kind of pointed down, but Oscar wants him right there to keep the racket, help, racket head up in more vertical position versus pointing kind of downward. You can see how Rafa really does, he's not crazy about this new position. He likes to keep his wrist kind of bent having the racket pointing downward a little bit and he feel he can get a lot more pronation out of it. What Oscar is going to try to explain to him that by setting the wrist that way is really preventing the, the, the motion from being fluid to going straight up to the ball being a, with a, a lot more racket head speed than if he had curled his wrist. But the major problem is that right there we just showed that his arm needs to be bent. He needs to get a better trophy position regardless of where the wrist might be. Oscar now wants to Rafa to practice half serves and to me this is the most crucial part of the lesson to show him to start not with the arm straight but from trophy position which is fixing his biggest flaw to really start the racket halfway into the trophy position 
really for Rafael to feel where the racket is at trophy, to feel the pause, to feel where the rest is, to feel what a great trophy position should feel like. So now he just wants to do half serve, not using his legs that much. And to me, slowly and slowly, Rafa's serve is taking the shape of what it's going to look like in 2010. Once again, a great progression of a lesson, not to go to a full serve yet, but just to do half a motion, just to really focus on the problem, which is establishing a better trophy position. This is an interesting photo. You have Uncle Tony right there practicing the trophy position that Oscar has been asking Rafa to do. And you will see slowly but surely as the lesson progresses how both Tony and Rafa are slowly buying into what Oscar is trying to make him do and slowly understanding exactly the changes that need to be made for Rafa's serve to get better. For his next progression, Oscar is now going to bring Rafa to the service line. And he's going to want to work on one thing and one thing only is to get, get some power into his serve. So he's really going to focus on getting Rafa to get as much racket as speed as he possibly can. And this is easier done from the service line than from the baseline. So Rafa can work on one thing and power and power only. Now I see he has him starting and once again still in a half motion in the trophy position. As Rafa is getting more and more comfortable with that position, now he can focus on power. And you can see right there that Rafa is, is, put, is hitting really, really great fast serves with hardly any effort whatsoever. And that's what Oscar is talking about right there. He's getting a lot of power with minimum effort. And to me, that serve from the trophy position on is starting to look like exactly what he looked like in 2010. Now Oscar wants to deal with Rafa's toss. He really feels like after Rafa has delivered the ball toss that his tossing arm comes too far back behind him, which is stopping him from really transferring his weight forward into the court the way it should be. Now what I really like about this part of the lesson right now is you can see how Uncle Tony is really listening to Oscar and really understand what Oscar is talking about and is getting more of his trust. He really feels that Oscar is on the right track and that Rafa is getting better. So now they gotta, he's got to try to get Rafa to really stop from bringing his arm too far back behind him. And you will see, as we demonstrate, that his arm goes too far back. He has to learn to release the ball in front of him and then stop the arm from coming behind him because that really is stopping a lot of his power from going forward. So what he wants him to do almost is to go ahead and toss the ball and leave the arm in front as if he was going to serve in volley. But you can still see on that last serve that his arm still went too far back. So he really is going to try to get him to focus on le after tossing the ball to leave the tossing arm in front. And a good tip right there, what he's trying to make him do, he's going to try to get him to throw the ball more forward into the court. He's going to give him, tell him, tell him to serve just almost if he was serving in volley. So what do you do when you serve in volley? Well, you toss the ball more in front to force yourself from going forward. So hopefully by doing so, his arm won't go too far back. It will allow him to go forward without being restricted from an arm going too far back. The next thing that Oscar wants to fix is the rhythm of the footwork during Rafa's serve. He feels that the old motion never allowed Rafa to sink his feet properly together when he was in trophy position. Because when one is in trophy position, that's when the feet should be together. And he feels that it took too long for Rafa to get his rack in trophy position, so his feet never really were together at the right time. They were never in sync with the racket. And he truly believes that with this new motion, if he can really bring the racket into trophy, that he will be able to sync his feet together better, resulting into a much better and more powerful serve. This next photo from the video is the most powerful photo because it shows how Rafa is executing exactly what Oscar has been working on during this lesson. The arm is in the perfect trophy or power position. The wrist is in the perfect position. The tossing arm is out in front where it should be. Maybe the footwork should be better time, but that will take time and hard work to become second nature. This video not only shows that Rafa